Hello there. This video we are going to talk about WD Blue Caviar 3.5 inches SATA hard drive, PCB board repair, and the disk data recovery. The PCB board number is 2060771698004. Method 1 Clean the contacts. Clean the contacts on the PCB board and also on the hard drive can fix the problem caused by the poor connection between the PCB board and the hard drive. PCB board repair method 2. This picture shows the basic components on the PCB board and their functions. You may take this picture as a reference to fix your own PCB board. This picture shows some basic pins and their functions. This picture shows some correct signals on the PCB board. Fixing hard drive PCB board method 3 PCB board swap. PCB board swapping including two steps. 1. Find the correct donor PCB board. 2. PCB board firmware transfer. PCB board swap step 1. Find out the correct donor PCB board. Locate the hard drive model number on the front of the hard drive label. Locate the hard drive PCB board number. Different brand name, different PCB board. The PCB board numbers are different. You may go to hdd-parts.com to check out other brand name PCB board numbers. After find out the hard drive model number and the hard drive PCB board number, we use them as a reference to search for the correct donor board. We found the correct donor PCB board for the hard drive, but this is only the first step. The next step is we have to do the PCB board format transfer to make the donor board work on the original hard drive. PCB board firmware PCB board firmware is the information data on the PCB board. It may be in the memory chip or in the main chip on the PCB board. For this model hard drive, we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer first, then we swap the PCB board. Otherwise, the new board will not work on the original hard drive. Why do we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer? Because for this model hard drive, one PCB board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. The PCB board firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. Regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware transfer, we have three things to mention. First, PCB board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. The PCB board firmware transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from one board to another board. The hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It nothing to do with another hard drive or another PCB board. Second, we can do the PCB board firmware transfer from the physically damaged PCB board, like burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our PCB board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. Third, we do the PCB board firmware transfer for our clients for free. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. 
First, the clients sent in their PCP board. Two, we fix the PCP board. Three, we ship back the PCP board to the clients. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board bias, and uh, the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB board BIOS are in the independent memory chip like the first picture shows. Some PCB boards BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drive PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware we have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of these kind of boards. If you have any questions, such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the BIOS transfer, where is the BIOS of your PCB board? how to swap your PCB board. Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. Overheat is a common problem of hard drive PCB boards. Solutions 1. Cool down the hard drive by fan or other cooling devices. 2. Replace or fix the PCB board. This picture shows the two main contributors to the overheat. This picture shows how to use a fan to cool down the hard drive. This picture shows how to use a hard drive heat sink to cool down a hard drive. This picture shows how to cool down the overheat chips. 1. Locate the overheat chips. 2. Put the heat sink pad onto the top of the overheat chips. 3. Put the overheat sink onto the pad and press firmly. Note. This method only works on the PCB boards whose chips are facing out. This picture shows how to cool down the overheat chips which are under the PCB board. Clean room operation. Common disk assembly physical problems. Disk head damage. Disk damage. Spindle damage mortar damage, dust contamination. Dust contamination could be caused by broken seal or opening the hard drive in an unclean environment like office, computer workshop. Opening the hard drive in an unclean environment could make the data recovery work even more difficult. There are some simple ways to recover data from a hard drive. One of them is try to read the hard drive by different devices, like different external hard drive adapters, computers, or enclosures. Because different devices use different ways to read a hard drive, 
sometimes this trick works. Another way is swapping the hardware PCB board. Swapping the hardware PCB board can fix the problem caused by the PCB board. There is a cost in swapping the PCB board, but it is way cheaper than sending the hard drive to a data recovery firm. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client send their hard drive to us. Second, we do data recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.